I watched the movie Rad when I was like super young, like seven years old or something. I rented it like all the time, VHS, and it's just kind of that unique, like Cinderella story in a sense, and that's just like every kid's dream. And so once I watched that, then you know it gave me goosebumps, and that's just like I knew exactly what I was going to do. I raced BMX when I was about seven to 17. I started riding for the Bicycle Cafe when I was 13 or 14. I raced on the BMX team for them for five years. And it started out being really fun and towards the end it's got a little too competitive. And I just, I guess I had a lot more fun hitting the jumps and getting steezy and having fun than focusing on going fast and winning. I can't say I, I hate competition. It, it's always, you know, a, a fun thing to do. That's not why I got into riding in, to begin with. That's not why I ride now. And I don't want to like show that I'm better than someone. Yeah, it just always comes down to having fun. And if I'm not having fun, then I wouldn't be here doing it. And that's pretty much rule number one for me. With uh, the fest, we basically had to start that because, you know, with what we want to ride and and ride together, there just wasn't any chance of that happening. Um, nobody was gonna make that contest for us or make that platform for us, so basically we had to take it into our own hands. You know, a group of riders can get together and, and make a change in this industry. You look at like skateboarding, snowboarding, skiing, there's that core culture and all these like rider-based events and things like that, and I think it's important for us to take notes from that and try to keep our sport core in a sense. farm is kind of a secret but not really like a lot of people know about it but very little people have actually witnessed that place firsthand and seen what that place is like and yeah, it's a cool place <laughs> it's a it's a kooky place for sure if anyone's ever been there i'm kind of numb to it now but it's just a really fun and chill vibe and we have a lot of fun out there and i think that's what helps us the most is kind of riding shit like that and not being stressed about it and not really having any eyes you don't want there. And you did forward and then somehow the clip that holds the boat on at the front just kind of declipped and then we took off in the intersection and dumped this sucker right on the highway in the middle of the highway. <laughs> yeah, there you go. My name is Ron Penny and uh, we're at the farm. It's, it's fun to, to, you know, jump a jump line, but it's way more fun to jump a jump line with a bunch of guys that can, you know, do the same thing and you can watch what they're doing. And I think what happens um, with him and, uh, you know, like Matty Miles, they're like, they're young, they're young dudes and I'm an old dude, like, so these guys come, they're super energetic. As long as those guys are like high energy, I can, I can get that. They just bring a, a, an amount of energy to the, to the game that, that just keeps me energized. I don't get tired or bored of it because I don't know. I moved to this spot in BC because it offered terrain that allowed me to go and ride my bike big and fast. And then I ran into a bunch of guys that like to ride big and fast. Rampage is a, a tough event, um, not only physically, but probably more mentally. Yeah, there's a lot happening, a lot going on that, you know, the general public doesn't see. You go up there, you build it, and then you gotta do it now. It's like, the chopper's there, that costs way more money than whatever you got going on. And some people, that's what, like, great bikers, um, they can't ride there, because they can't deal with that kind of pressure. And I've never seen anybody deal with that, as well as Graham. Graham being able to flip a switch, being able to take yourself out of the, I don't know, whole doubt and 
outside pers perspective of that's crazy and whatever. The whole time you're, you know, you're questioning yourself, and but still deep down you know you have it, and you gotta try and build that confidence level up pretty much the entire time, all the way up until you're about to drop in. And yeah, like when my friend passed along, and I think I started riding harder and living harder, just to like live for him in a sense. And I mean, I wake up every morning, I see forever young on my chest. It's hard not to forget about those kind of things. And I mean, Rampage at the top of the course, like pretty much give a little prayer and know that he's watching and he's gonna take care of me and yeah. <laughs> Having one little mistake and it's all over, or, you know, it could all come together and it could be the most glorious time in your life. Last year I did that one run and I've never had that feeling ever and I knew it was just qualifiers, but I couldn't imagine what the winning finals would be like. And I burst into tears when I got to the bottom. Just like seeing all my friends running down, everyone screaming and yelling and I mean I knew what I just did and I don't know, it was it's it was really cool. That guy at the top of rampage when it was go time, like he makes a decision and he flicks a switch better than anybody I know. I can always, you know, hope that Graham's legacy is going to be uh, bringing big riding back to the mainstream, but also like bringing it to a level that everybody can understand. I mean, I would definitely like people to look back and think that I was a motivator and someone who's really determined and focused and I've learned how to work hard for sure and it probably sounds repetitive I keep saying just having fun. but. That's pretty much the number one rule that I try and live by. Yeah, if you're not having fun, then there's no point in doing it. Just trying to have as much fun as I can right now and enjoy these days as much as I can. Thank you.